paint buffer is based on Murray's most unique features and throw a lot of people off when they first start using it. I know that was the case for me. So in this lesson, we're going to talk a bit about the paint buffer, how we use it when painting and projecting, and how we can set it up. After that, we'll touch briefly on mirroring and then go into more depth about the painting tools in the next video in this series. The paint buffer is basically a piece of transparent glass in between you and the model. You paint on it and then when you're happy, you bake that paint down onto the geo into your current layer. I'm going to scale down my paint buffer just a little bit so it's a bit more obvious now. You can transform your paint buffer with this tool here. I can use the shift key to translate it, the shift and control key to scale it and then just control to rotate. You can either reset it in the painting palette or by pressing the apostrophe key. The bottom button on our left toolbar also resets any paint buffer transformations we might have. Now we can see the edges of the paint buffer. Anything outside of this white box is outside of our buffer and means it will not collect our paint strokes. If you find yourself not able to paint on the edges of the screen, that's because the buffer is a square but the viewport is more rectangular, so be careful not to get caught out with that. Because we have an immediate step between painting on our model, it means that we can do things like transforming our paint stroke size or position or even warping them, but we're going to touch on that a bit later. First, we want to check out our paint buffer settings. This is really important. Head on to the painting palette and scroll down to the paint buffer settings section. Here we can find a few options, the most important of which is size and colour depth. You want to make sure your colour depth is set to the same as your current channel, otherwise you'll be losing data when painting. Size, on the other hand, is a bit more lenient. That white box that we saw represents the paint buffer and will have the resolution that we set to here. If, for example, you have a patch resolution of 4K like I do, but then only has your paint buffer size set to 2K, then you won't be making the most of that patch and might get low resolution textures. But if you were to zoom in on your object and don't paint on the whole 4K patch at once, then you won't be losing as much resolution or any resolution, even when using a lower res paint buffer. Next, let's talk mirroring when projecting. You've always been able to mirror what you paint on the buffer in Mari, which can be useful, but even more powerful is one of the newer features, which lets you mirror your strokes across the mesh. This can help speeding up painting symmetrical meshes or details. If we scroll down the painting palette, we have a subsection called mirror projection. If we turn on the switch at the top, we will see a line appear on the mesh. I want to mirror on the front of my model, so I'm going to switch it to the Z axis. The line is a bit off center. We could either move the model, but instead I'm going to create a custom mirror plane that lines up better. If you click the plus icon next to the attach drop down menu, it will make a new mirror plane for us. It's still a bit off center, so I'm going to select it, then hit the P key to activate the transform tool on it. I can now move it into place. So I'm using the number keys on the keyboard, so one, two, three, four, etc., to change to a flat orthographic view that means I've got a much better view to line up here. Now with that mirror activated, I can paint with symmetry on my mesh. If you're having problems painting on your mesh, then it might be because the mirror plane is still selected. Head over to the objects palette and switch back to your piece of geo and then you can get painting. To stop, I just have to turn that switch off, or you can go to the left toolbar and turn it off from there. And from here, you can also change the mirroring axis. We'll leave that video here, but in the next one, we're gonna talk in more depth about painting in Mari. So I'll see you there.